Hi, my name is Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. Um, so I was wondering, uh, what does the Bible say about tattoos? About tattoos? Yes. <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> Today's video is John MacArthur's Q&A around Leviticus 19 verse 28, You shall not cut your flesh for the dead, nor put any mark on you, I am the Lord. There are many questions raised about the concept of tattooing in the Bible and there are also many assertions that tattooing is a sin. Notably, Joyce Meyer spoke out in favor of tattooing and Mara Marie Emanuel's response caused conflicting debates. John MacArthur also analyzes and answers this issue. I'm right on the verge of going and getting the tattoo. Right back here. I belong to the Lord. Two weeks ago, I got tattooed on my shoulder. I have a nice little cross back there, and it says, I belong to Jesus. And just for good measure, I put love on my foot to remind me to walk in love. Misquoted, which says, you shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead nor print or tattoo any marks on you for the dead. <laughs> you know, we just pick stuff out of here and leave out what we want to. And Mara Marie Emanuel strongly condemned Joyce Meyer for getting tattoos and preaching as a woman, emphasized the importance of adhering to biblical principles, and warned of the potential consequences of making people otherwise lust. Mara Marie Emanuel condemns influential figures who promote practices contrary to the scriptures and calls on believers to remain vigilant in distinguishing truth from faucet and requires spiritual leaders to responsible for the standards set forth in the Bible. Mara Marie Emanuel strongly condemns tattoos and calls on Christians to adhere to the teachings of the Bible and repent if they have strayed from righteousness. Can you please explain why tattoos are a sin? Because the Holy Bible says so. Read that in the book of uh, Leviticus. It's in Leviticus, so read it, tattoos are a sin. And actually the word tattoo is mentioned in the Holy Bible. Tattoo. You cannot do. Oh, you cannot. Uh, that rhymes. Tattoo, you cannot do. Tattoo, what's up? You cannot do. Uh -uh. Forget about Hollywood, okay? Reason being, this body is a copyright of God. You cannot modify something that is a copyright you need to ask the permission of the author when you go to the author he will say no <laughs> if you have a tattoo already don't panic all right <laughs> i'll have to mention this otherwise you're going to say uh oh what are we what are we going to do if you have a tattoo and you cannot remove it or uh, it's going to be very hard to remove just ask the lord for forgiveness you need to ask him i'm sorry lord I was uh, still very young, I, I didn't know, whatever reason. But you be honest. If you knew it was wrong and you did it, you better tell the Lord as it is. Don't go and say, oh, I'm really sorry, I didn't know. Don't lie, you, he knows. So if you knew it was wrong and you insisted on doing it, go to the Lord and say, Lord, I am a stubborn person. They told me it's wrong and I didn't listen and I did it, so I'm confessing. I knew it was wrong and I did it and I'm sorry for doing it, Lord. I won't put any more on my body. Don't increase. If you cannot wipe it, if you can wipe it, wipe it. If you cannot wipe it, it's too much. Don't add any more. And to the Christians, why are you putting the Lord Jesus on your muscle? What is this, man? Do you think this is the way you show your faith? <laughs> You walk in the street like with a, an, a very tight shirt and the muscles are all puffed up like that because I push some iron and then you have here and you're flexing your arms like that and the muscles going boom, 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 boom. And then you've got and, and the cross here. I am a Christian bro. What you got? You got a problem? I'm a Christian bro with a red belt karate. You got a problem? Relax. Christ is in your heart, not on your muscle. He needs to live in your heart. Besides, there are the views of missionary Cliff Nectal at prestigious universities on this issue. I want to ask this like tattoos and piercings to sin. Good question. In Leviticus we read, don't put tattoos on your body. Isn't that the Old Testament? <laughs> exactly, it's Leviticus. Now the question is, see, what you always got to do when you interpret, you got to put it in context. So the question is, why in Leviticus would it say that tattoos are bad? All you got to do is read Elijah on Mount Carmel competing against the prophets of Baal. 
God sent fire. And the people of Israel are watching. And they're seeking to determine who's the real true living God. Baal or Yahweh? The prophets of Baal pray. Baal, send fire. Baal, send fire. Nothing happens. What do they do? They start cutting themselves. The blood begins to flow. Why? Because that culture, that religion taught, if you want to get God's attention, you start cutting yourself, let the blood flow, and then God will answer your prayers. Then God will give you his attention. That's false. And so very clearly, in Leviticus, God is calling the Hebrew people to be different from all the cultures around them. And one example is tattoos, marking your body, cutting yourself. So I would argue that because that was for that culture and time, there is nothing wrong with tattoos. But didn't they say, oh, don't mark your body with like, something of death? Right? Didn't well, they say that in the Bible? In Leviticus, it says, don't put tattoos on your body. Yeah, but it also said, like, right next to it, it said, uh, don't mark, your, don't mark your body with a sign of death. Okay. Didn't it say that? It, it might. I can't remember to tell you the truth. I don't know. But I do know it says very clearly no tattoos. Mm -hmm. And so you're right, sir. A lot of guys come up to me and say, Cliff, does the Bible say we're not allowed to get tattoos? And I say, no, no, no. You've got to understand the context. And the context is the Canaanite religions, to get God's attention, you've not only tattooed, you cut yourself. And you let the blood flow, and that's the way you're going to convince God that you're really sincere. You're really genuine. And God says, no, you don't do it that way. With your heart, you talk to me, sincerely, genuinely, honestly, talk to me. And I'm going to listen to you. You don't have to cut yourself to get my attention. Did you say some stuff, some stuff in the Bible is false? No, there's nothing in the Bible that I have read that's false. Hi, my name is Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. Um, so I was wondering, uh, what does the Bible say about tattoos? About tattoos? Yes. Elizabeth. <laughs> If you go back into the Old Testament, tattoos are identified with pagan religion. Um, they were basically, in ancient times, people identified their deities with the use of tattoos. So the people of God were basically forbidden to have those in the Old Testament. The New Testament says nothing about that. So one could conclude in ancient times they were identified with paganism. There were there were certain things that pagans did, and, and God's people were to avoid doing the things that pagans did. They, um, even the Jewish people were required to dress a certain way, eat a certain diet, and avoid marks of paganism. So you could say, well, that was the standard in the Old Testament, but the New Testament doesn't say anything about tattoos, and that would be true. So I don't want to go so far as to say that... Um, Tattoos are sinful. Um, the, the New Testament doesn't say that. Um, I, I could assume that you, you could have a tattoo uh, of a cross or something that reflected your love for Christ or some people get a Bible verse. Um, <laughs> I have to tell a funny story about a guy who got a Bible verse and they spelled the book of the Bible wrong on his chest. <laughs> So that's not good. <laughs> but the, real, the Bible doesn't really say anything about that. But my, my feeling is that in the ancient sense, it belonged to paganism. There would have to be a pretty compelling reason for me to do that. I, again, I wouldn't say it's right. I don't have a tattoo. But um, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to go so far as to say it's wrong to do that. Um, but it was part of what was pagan in the past, and um, it's a choice people make. I would personally rather be able to change my shirt every day and have something different than to have something I have to wear the rest of my life every waking moment and sleeping moment. So um, just think about the reality of indelibly impressing something on you if you do that. and. Um, Maybe down the road, you, you, you might wish it wasn't there. That's, that's the issue. 
But I don't want to say that in and of itself there's something wrong with that. Because even the fashion has changed. You know, the Old Testament, women were not to wear what pertained to a man. Um, but what did that mean in the ancient days? When mo men wore dresses. They wore robes. Women wore robes. So I, there wasn't a whole lot of difference there. I've heard people say, well, that's why women can't wear pants, because uh, the Old Testament says they're not to wear what pertained to a man. Well, men didn't wear pants in the old time. So you've got to be careful with some of that, you know, how far into this culture you bring that, okay? Just, just be thoughtful about that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel to update our best videos.